let me explain, okay? So you may be wondering, why the f*** am I back in this room? Um, and if you're not wondering that, then you, you may be new here and you've not seen my channel in the last two years. Um, hi, by the way. Before last month, I've been living in Poland with me and my my wife now. Um, for the last two years, we moved over during the first lockdown back in 2020 and we lived in Poland um, in the south west side of Poland, um, right near the Czech border for two years. And in last month, um, we moved over to England, more specifically to Liverpool, um, because of one or two reasons. Um, one being that the main ones that my missus wanted to study um, her masters to pursue her education in TV production and that I thought that moving over could possibly open up some opportunities with uh, other YouTubers, other businesses, um, other sort of um, situations that I was hoping to pursue. And we moved back over to England, thought that maybe it'd be good for some business ideas, making more money, because there's more money in the country than Poland, and we thought that would be the the smart thing to do for at least a year. So I did a video about uh, moving over to another country, and we moved back to England, and when I made that video, that was in good jest of, that was our plan for next year. And of course, um, it's been just over a month now, and I'm back in Poland. We're back in Poland, me and my wife and my daughter, um, who turns one year old, by the way, in three days' time. It's crazy. Um, and we've moved back to Poland. And the reasons why, I, there's many, many little small things, but for the main gist of it, we was not. We just weren't happy in England, mental health-wise. There just wasn't... I don't know how to explain it, but the energy levels just felt so much lower i didn't feel as inspired to like look after myself for whatever reason i don't know why i i, I can't really explain it it's just that kind of feeling each day you felt like it was easier to kind of slip in england to like drink a bit more i didn't really drink in poland i looked after myself i went for runs each day i played football consistently I had training each week i was in a, a good schedule a healthy schedule eating well training well I felt happy with myself, and then going to England, I just couldn't stick to that, for some reasons, some is financially, like, I go, I, I, I'm in a, I'm in a routine where it doesn't cost that much money to really, like, do what I want to do, eat the way I want to eat that I'm used to, and then I go to England, and it's just, like, five pound here, ten pound here, seven pound here, five pound to, to play football, you know, to travel for the fuel, to eat well it's almost like it's tripled the amount and it's like it makes you not want to do it as much because it's just like you're spending much more than what you typically would and it makes you almost not want to do it as much um and for my missus her course that she went to go study on it had like 14 people when she first joined there's like four people left on the course now within a month like 10 people's already gone and the tutors that she has in the course, the, the people that's meant to be teaching her, barely even shows up half the time. So then when she actually goes to go to uni, half the people in the course aren't even there. And when it's a creative course like TV production, you kind of need people there to have conversations with and to, you know, talk and discuss things. And that wasn't there. So really for her, it felt like it was just completely pointless, you know, and you, when you're paying how much money for a course, you know, for education, you want to feel like you're getting you're getting something out of it and it feels like all she had was just PowerPoint presentations and things that she could just learn online, you know, for the most part. So that alongside our lifestyle in England just felt like it was kind of, it, it wasn't giving us what we need, I feel like. And I've been back in Poland for a, a day or so now and I just feel so much happier. I've, I've gone for a run today, eating well, you know, my daughter, she's gone from a much better sleep schedule in England. She was waking up like every hour, every hour and a half, just for a bottle for the night. And if you have a, if you don't, if you don't have a child, then this may make no sense to you. But my daughter went from having a, a bottle every single hour or so throughout the night consistently to then we came back to Poland for like a, you know a couple of days, and she was having six, seven hour long lengths of sleep, not needing to wake up, have a bottle, or anything. And if you're a parent, and you, if you're a parent, and you know how 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 big that is, you know how how much that means to you. 
you know, and it means that something is working that she feels so much more comfortable in her own space. I don't know how to explain it. It just happens that way. And I, just, I feel like my daughter's happier here. And from what I saw in England, you know, um, the people which I saw, people that I spoke to, seeing how the education system is in England with my own personal experience and seeing how young people are doing in England and comparing it to how I see young people in Poland, I just kind of feel like I'd rather have her be raised in, in Poland. I think for my daughter, I feel like that'd be the best choice for me personally. As a father, I, I, I would rather have her be raised in, in Poland. I just think that's cleaner. I think that it's much better education. I think that it's safer. I just, that's just how I kind of see it. And we are happy in Poland. And I feel just happy to be back here. I just, I, I just, I just do just feel freer. I don't have to explain it. I'm back in Poland for the sub, for the foreseeable future. The only thing that would make me move back to England for me personally is to work with Burnley Football Club on a full time basis. Of course, if you didn't see a couple of days ago, I, I, I did a co commentary with the club, worked with media team. Absolutely amazing experience yet again. Absolute honour. They seem to like me and. And the response of the fan base also seemed to be positive for the most part. Of course, there's always a few, you know, older lots which may not like it, but that's understandable. You're always going to get that. You know, I'm not everyone's cup of tea. That's completely fine. And, and hopefully maybe one day it can maybe crack onto something else in the future. And if that happens, I would absolutely love it because that has always been seen as my end game to work at Burnley because I just feel like I would just be so happy doing that day by day. I'll never get bored of it. And yeah, of course, I'm still doing YouTube, of course. That's why I've been a bit uh, not as con not as consistent in the last week or so because I've been traveling, I've been planning to move back. And yeah, um, that's just kind of a, I don't know how long this video is, but just to kind of explain why I'm back here, um, I will be going back to, back to England for Burnley games. I'm literally going back to England next week, you know, to um, go to Derby, you know, Burnley versus Blackburn, the Derby. Um, I cannot wait for that. I fly over on Saturday, go game on Sunday, be back here on Monday. Um, you know, I, for me in England, uh, the, the main thing that's there left for me right now is really the Burnley games. You know, that makes me happy. You know, I, I can't wait for that. The Burnley games isn't enough for that one day in, in a week to stay in that country for personally. That's just for me. Um, but I'll still be going games whenever I can, you know. Uh, uh, especially this year as it's going to be such a wild one I love going some, you know, something away Coventry away even Birmingham loved it you know I, just, I feel that tribal like spirit inside of me I've missed that for the last two years singing chanting and celebrating goals just have, have going mad with your mates that's what it's about for me I wish that I can experience that every single day but across an entire week it just doesn't balance it out for me for my own mental health. Yeah, that's just, um, that's that really. Um, of course, I'll get some stuff in background. The setup isn't done yet. Get some like lights, LEDs, so it's a bit more colorful. The flags are back, World Cup's coming up. I may go back to England next month if we're in quarterfinals or semifinals. May try and go to QPR away down south uh, for Burnley game. So I'm looking ahead. I'm already, I'm already planning ahead. But yeah, that's it. So uh, I think this will be up in the morning on Saturday. And then I'll do my second video later on in the day. So thank you very much. And I'll see you guys soon. We're back, baby.